Now, next up to the stage, 36 years old. He's from Grey Lynn. He's a social worker in Lower Dexal Schools, and he told me earlier on that he wants to be the change that he wants to see in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Raymond Carver. Kia ora koutou, no tamaki makaurau aho, hei afina taku tūranga, ke Greylana ho e no ana, ko Ray Calva toko ingwa, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou kata. Greetings, my name is Ray Calva, I'm 36, I'm from Auckland, I live in Greylin, I've got a Bachelor of Social Practice, I'm a qualified social worker and I work as a social worker in school. Today I'd like to talk about three things. One, I'd like to tell you a quick little story. Two, I'd like to talk about the human cost of inequality in New Zealand. And three, I'd like to talk about a policy which I believe the Internet Party could champion, which would motivate people to support them. As a social worker in school, I get to engage with a diverse range of people, people from all walks of life, and it's really shown me that I can, I can talk to people from both ends of the financial spectrum, be that parents who are business people or people who are beneficiaries. And I've learned one thing from all my experience on the ground talking to families, all families, it doesn't matter where they've come from, it doesn't matter who they're hanging out with, it doesn't matter whether they're, whether they're making good or bad choices in life, all families want better things for their children. Now, with the human cost of inequality in New Zealand, we've had runaway inequality ever since Roger Nolix in the 1980s. We've got high social problems as a result of that. New Zealand is number one in the world for youth suicide, number four for obesity, number six for infant mortality, number eight for imprisonment, and number 29 out of 34 countries for child health and well-being. Now, I personally think that all parents would, be, would find this absolutely unacceptable and they would support any party which had policies in place to directly address issues of inequality. The policy that I believe the Internet Party should champion is one on child and youth development. A policy on child and youth development would show our children and youth that we value them, that we want them to succeed, that we want them to come through the educational system and go on to future training, to trades, to apprenticeships, and become productive and contributing members of our society and community. I just want to close by saying one thing. If the Internet Party doesn't, um, doesn't have candidates who are passionate about people, who are passionate about reducing inequality, and who can connect with a diverse range of people, what is going to happen? My name is Ray Calver, and I would be an awesome candidate for the Internet Party. Thank you. Yeah.